I have given everything I see all the meaning that it has for me. This beautiful lesson is a reminder that all meaning emanates from consciousness and consciousness is the domain of the ego. So all meaning that is perceived in the world of time and space, the linear cosmos, is a projection of fiction, false meaning, false concepts, false beliefs. This is how the world of linear time and space seems to arise. It comes from these concepts of a self that God did not create. These concepts have taken on a seeming reality in this world. And all apparent meaning is in consciousness and seems to be projected out to the dream world. So this lesson begins to show the part that the mind plays in assigning meaning to the meaningless, in giving meaning to the images. This image-making capacity is the ego, assigning meaning to all images we could even call them idol images, and generating a veil that covers over the light of truth and the light of God. In the Bible we were told, have no graven images before the Lord thy God, and yes, this wasn't talking about totem poles or golden calves, this is talking about the entire egoic process of generating meaning where there is none and making a false perception to cover the face of Christ, to cover our very identity. So gently, as you move through the day, see the importance of this lesson. I have given everything I see all the meaning that it has for me. It brings the responsibility for sight back to the mind and reverses the idea that the world tells me who I am. The world tells me what to do. This crazy idea that the world dictates my state of mind. Because this external form of causation is completely false. There's nothing in time that makes me who I am. Only linear time could construct an illusion that would tempt me to deny my true self as the Christ.